got on our yacht with Yacht Five with the company Life Before Work and it is gonna be an insane week. We're in Split right now and here is our room. And Dana! Excited. How fab is this? This is honestly like top notch. I love it. We have our own little bathroom and a shower. We packed for seven days and me and Anna packed into hand luggages. So I thought it would be helpful to show you guys what I brought with me for a whole week in a hand luggage suitcase. So the first things I got here are um, a toiletry bag and I've got a little makeup bag here. Um, in the toiletry bag, I've got the essentials. So pretty much I've got my glasses case, some travel shampoos, conditioners, contact lens case, nothing too special really. Everything's obviously travel size, like a tiny face wash, toothbrushes. Then we've got the makeup bag. It's just got all of my makeup and things in it. A curling wand here that is actually Anna's, but it's currently in my suitcase. And starting <laughs> off with some accessories, we've got one really nice purse that I can pretty much wear with anything, although it is really colorful. It just got a long strap because I have a backpack here and that's too big for nights out and things so i've got this here one sun hat because i think that this is going to be something i will need on the beach actually you would be surprised how much fits in a hand luggage so i have some pajamas here i've got one pair of black pants just in case it gets cold which i don't think it will because croatia is super warm a whole um heap of bottoms and shorts one skirt um a pair of floppy shorts another pair of floppy shorts a pair of denim shorts another denim shorts and I've got another pair that I'm wearing on me right now. I mean, how much can you fit in it? Like so many shorts, like look <laughs> at that. This whole bit of my suitcase are tops. So literally like this massive stack. So I have um, kind of a going out shirt, t-shirt, a simple white one, a pink one, a bunch of crop tops, the life before work merchandising shirt. Also two black um, tank tops and just like casual tops. Um, two silk blouses because these are so convenient and they're really really easy to wear. <laughs> and yes, I know they're silk, but I got them in a vintage store. And for me personally, if I buy it second hand, it's fine. Just a PS because a lot of people can be asking about it. One sweatshirt here. Also, I've got this one kind of really really cool um, kimono jacket top that I got from Primark about four years ago, but it's been lasting me a good while and it's really, really nice. Another top here, throwy scarf slash blanket slash whatever type of thing you can tie around your swimsuit. For dresses, really cool looking, um, a romper that's got these, like, arm loopholes, a little gray romper, a little sundress bag full of underwear right here that I'm not gonna show you guys, and two pairs of sunglasses, one of them I'm wearing right now, and also an eyeshadow palette. We zip this open and I've got some shoes in here. So for my main shoes, I wore my Converse with little American flags on them that I thought would be perfect because they're light. A nicer pair of nude sandals for going out. A pair of um, nude flats. A pair of white Birkenstock sandals that are going to be great for walking on the yacht and also a pair of simple flip-flops. I've got one belt taken with me that I think will spice up any outfit with shorts and will give it a lot of variety and then the last thing here is a fabric canvas bag that I thought would be useful if we go anywhere to get food or anywhere shopping inside the cities and in it I have a bunch of swimsuits, yellow swimsuit, then I've got one from Triangle, and this is one of their new collection ones. Look at how beautiful that is. I love this one. It's so nice. I've got this pink one that I've worn so many times in Australia. Then this one piece that is actually not a swimsuit, but um, will make it work. I think it's really cool. My mom's vintage swimsuit that's got like the sweetheart neckline and a fully open back which is very very beautiful and it's also like the sparkly black fabric i think my mom wore this back in the 90s which is pretty cool that looks like it for the suitcase as you can see you can fit so much in this small suitcase and let's go with my backpack now the backpack isn't too massive but it does fit quite a couple of things i have my gopro that i'm filming on now in here this pocket has some lipstick in it and some chewing gum and then in this big compartment, I've got my computer in um, a shoe bag. Actually, this is a good tip. If you uh, carry a soft type of backpack where your computer wouldn't get damaged, keep it in a shoe bag because it saves so much space. My big Canon camera in here. <laughs> Another little case. Yeah. I'm really big for these type of like shoe bags and silk bags. That's just my e-reader. Bottle of water headphones, of course, my wallet, and how cute is this wallet? Anna gifted it for my birthday, this is adorable. 
um, and another lip gloss and that looks like it for everything I have packed hopefully it's gonna be enough for the trip I think I'm kind of sorted for uh, a whole week of clothing and it fits in a tiny hand luggage so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll try to make it as quick as possible and I hope you have an amazing summer I love you all and goodbye oh, oh, oh.